think we've actually spoken about this before, but it's not something that's new or different. It's something that we've all heard. So a lot of members on Lagos Matchmaker and um, mostly females, I've actually heard them say this, like this guy ghosted me because he's intimidated by my success or he's intimidated by smart women. And we see articles out there all the time asking that same question, are men intimidated by smart and successful women? So that's why I wanted to talk about that today. So I had this experience um, some months ago. I was traveling and at the airport, I, there was some guy that was just talking to me and he just sat next to me and was talking. First of all, let me just give you the background. So the guy that usually helps me check in wasn't around, so I had to try and check in myself. And I couldn't check in at that time. I'm very time conscious. I got to the airport like hours before um, time. So I wasn't really in the mood. I was just not, you know, my face, I was frowning. And so this guy walks up and he's like, oh, are you okay, everything? And I'm like, yeah, I'm great. You know, I'm just going to chill. So he just kept talking to me while I walked to sit down. And while I sat, he was like, can I sit here? And I was like, sure. And he sat down and, you know, was talking about himself. Like, this is what I do. This is, you know, I work here, I do this, I do that. And then he started asking, like, are you an actress? Are you, a, um, you know, a model? He just kept asking all those flattering questions. And I was like, no. So he was like, so what do you do? And I'm like, I'm a civil servant. And he was like, yeah, but what do you do? And I was like, I'm a statistician. So we just analyze data and all of that and collect data and stuff. And the next thing he does, he actually stands up and leaves. <laughs> just after that statement, he stands up and leaves. So it's really funny. And the first thing that came to my mind is what comes to a lot of people's mind because after a statement like that, if someone leaves, you kind of feel like it's about that statement, right? So we start drawing conclusions and assumptions based on what just happened. So I drew up a conclusion, you know, I had my own assumption, you know, because of what just happened, he just walked off. So I was like, you know, the same question came to my mind. And then I thought, you know, this is an assumption. I never asked why, obviously. So what if he just hates statisticians? What if he was married to a statistician in the past? What if he just doesn't, you know, it could just be anything, but obviously you draw the conclusion that just, you know. And another thing I realized is that most of the time it could be, you know, drawing your conclusion and assumptions because not one of these ladies that have said, or maybe the guy's intimidated by how smart or successful I am, has actually asked the guy, like, has the guy actually told you and say, oh, I stopped talking to you because you're just too successful for me? Or I stopped talking to you because you're just too smart for me? You know, have you actually asked them and has someone actually told you that? Not saying it's not possible, I'm just saying the assumption is different from the reality if that's the truth or not. So sometimes it could be a different situation. So there's a lady that was matched with a guy and most times when people ghost you, you don't know what it is, you don't know the reason or you always make your assumptions. So she made the assumption that, you know, it's because she's smart and successful. So we did ask him, like, you know, you're not talking to this lady, what happened? And then he went on to tell us that, you know, they went on a date and it was really boring for him. And I was like, you know, how, why was he boring? And he was like, he asked her, like, tell me about yourself. And she started talking about, well, you know, her work, all the achievements, she's, you know, everything she's achieved, her awards, you know, recognition, you know, everything that she has just done about herself, you know, in that success light and, you know, almost like trying to prove that she's smart and successful. You know, and to him, that was really boring. So you have a situation like that where someone goes on a date and is just constantly talking about their success or how smart they are. Like, oh, I had like a 4.0 GPA, you know, you know, I had like um, cum laude, you know, they're just talking about how well they did in school and what they've achieved right now, the recognitions, the awards and all that. And that could be a turn off because afterwards, you might go home saying, I didn't get to know this person. I only got to know what they've achieved, but they didn't tell me about like their, I don't know how many kids, they, you know, siblings they have. I don't know what their relationship is with their mother, their father. I don't know what they like to do for fun, you know, but I know a lot of things that they've achieved, you know, so that might be boring. And this is not even gender based because if you went out with a guy on a date and all he was talking about was his achievements, like, oh, I've done this, I've done that. You know, I achieved this and that and all use his recognitions, everything. So you could actually categorize that as a boring date. So it's not a gender-based thing. 
but I don't think people are, you know, looking for dumb, not successful people. But I think sometimes it's in the approach of how that's said, because it's almost like you're trying to prove that you're smart and successful. Like on a date, instead of telling us about yourself and what you do and letting the person just kind of get a feel of your character, instead you're almost trying to sell yourself, you know, like I'm this great person that's done so much, that's done so well, that's achieved a lot, you know, like I have this to bring to the table, I'm this wonderful person and this is why you should go on the second date with me. So it's almost like you're trying to market yourself. I know dating is almost like marketing yourself, but still... If you're trying too hard to market a product, you know, if you're trying too hard, it could be a turn off. It might just, you know, the person might just not be interested. So with this guy, you know, that was his reason. So his turn off wasn't the fact that she's a successful and smart lady. The turn off was the fact that she was just focused on just saying only that part about herself. So even if you go out on a date with a guy and the guy's constantly talking about how he's the youngest CEO, um, youngest commissioner, or the you know, best in his league or the acknowledgements, the achievements and the grants he's gotten, scholarships, how he bought his first car when he was 15, how he already owned his home at 17. If he's talking about all that, you could actually see that as a boring date. And, you know, so it wouldn't be the fact that he's smart or successful that actually he turns you off. So he wouldn't say, oh, this guy's too successful. So I'm just not interested. No, you might be turned off based on the fact that this date wasn't interesting. All he did was talk about your achievements. I didn't get to know you. I didn't get to know what's fun for you. I didn't get to know any. So basically, in my opinion, when they ask the okay. So basically, in my opinion, when that question is asked, like, are men, you know, intimidated by smart and successful women, or even the other way around? I don't think so. You know, if that's my opinion, I don't think so. I feel like it could be the manner of, um, you know, how you present it. But I don't think people are just not looking for successful people or smart people. I mean, of course, there are cases where people are intimidated, but I don't think majority. Like, there was a lady that said, oh, I've met like seven, eight guys. Like, every single guy I meet is intimidated by my success. And I was like, why are you meeting all these guys, you know, number one, that are just all, you know, the same? And if you're meeting like seven people and they're all intimidated by your success, but they've not told you you're assuming, you need to assume differently. <laughs> Thank you.